All right, so here we are with how to turn in your programming assignments. And I just wanted to walk through this really quickly uh, if you're not familiar with uh, turning in a link in Canvas and how you'll get them from uh, the two sites that we're going to use for most of the semester. Uh, so re really quick uh, recap on my programming lab. When you're at that site, you've done the assignment, uh, you've submitted the correct answer, and it puts a green check mark on the left-hand side next to the assignment number. Uh, when those are all done, you're done. You don't put anything into Canvas. That's all up to me. So I go to the site after the due date, and I will review them and input your grades into Canvas for you. Okay, so you don't submit anything with my programming lab. All right, uh, but for these assignments, and um, you'll see, you know, the due dates will appear once this is active. And um, these are the ones I have right now. I may change them, may leave them the same. We'll see. Uh, but uh, but once it's once it's active and you can see this the, uh, you'll see your assignments in here and I'm just gonna pick this one as an example so the average of values uh, program that you see in here that you're gonna put together so here's your um, you know instruction set sometimes you'll see a little sample run where I'll, you know sometimes it gets a little complicated and uh, so I'll give you an idea of what it, the output might look like just to just to help out there but anyway you'll see as you get to this you'll see this little uh, once you click on the assignment you'll see submit assignment right here so what you want to do I want to show you just going back over here real quickly uh, and if we were in Python Tutor, and let's say this is the program that we have, um, and don't forget your commenting. So um, if you haven't seen anywhere I've talked about this yet, this is the time that you'll you'll notice this. But make sure that you put your name, the date, uh, the name of the program, and then I am always curious how long it took you to uh, you know do the programming on this and troubleshooting and get it working properly. So how long it took could be three minutes, could be 30 minutes, just depends on the program and, uh, you know, how, how things were going at the time. All right, but anyway, when you've got your code done, uh, make sure you hit visualize execution. We'll wait just a second. Uh, and uh, hopefully this will come up and not take the full 10 seconds. And there we go. Okay, so uh, don't forget when you come to this uh, window, we've got you know, the ability to adjust the console output window over here. And, uh, you know, you've got the code that you're running in here. Now, this is only a couple of steps, so not really that big a deal. Um, so I'm just going to hit forward and then forward again. Make sure you get to this point where it says program terminated. The output's correct. You're happy with this. This is what you want to turn in. Okay, so go ahead and scroll down. Again, once it's program terminated and you're all done, scroll down. And you're going to click on German, or uh, German, no, <laughs> generate permanent link. And so when you click that button, you'll see uh, it's an incredibly long link that's here. They used to use Google Short Link, and for some reason, uh, Philip had to take it off there. I'm not sure why. But anyway, so that it's gone. But, uh, but we'll use this generate permanent link. When you click in here uh, and your cursor's in there, then just hold down Control on your keyboard and hit A to select all. And then you can hold down control and hit C for copy, or you can right click and say copy, uh, you know, either way. And that gets you the link that you need from this site. Okay. And then what you'll end up doing is, let me show you from REPL here real quick too. Uh, so REPL, same program, same thing, name, date, name of the program, time it took. Uh, you hit run. And it runs, and there we go, and everything's good to go. And, uh, you know, you're happy with the code again, so it's, it's all great. There's a button up here called Share. And you just click on the Share button, and you can see this little piece right here, Share Link. So you can click in there. If you single click one time with the left uh, uh, mouse button, it highlights the whole piece. So you can right click and say Copy. And then we'll paste it in a second. Um, just if you don't see this button, for some reason, let's say this is, um, you know, the button's gone and you're like, oh wait, there's no share button here. Just make this a little bit wider and it will appear. So you've got, you know, even if it's like that, it'll work fine. But um, I usually have mine out a little bit anyway, so I can mess around. I like these open. Uh, so anyway, so, so that's that, so share. So once you've gotten that, then you come back over here. Uh, I'm gonna say submit assignment. And then by default, it uses uh, Office 365. That tab will always be there. But it should pop right up to website URL. Click in here and then right click and say paste. And it will put your link. Now, this is the link that I had uh, from the REPL one. If it was the Python one, Python Tutor one, it would be really long, but that's fine. Uh, and then that's that. You don't need to put any comments in there. It, it will um, tag your name to this automatically in the correct assignment uh, Dropbox. So we're all good here. But you must click Submit Assignment again. So when you when you click the link in there, you must click uh, Submit Assignment, just like you did up at the top. And then you'll get a little thing that says Assignment Submit successfully that is up at the top here look looks like this look at that oh no it's gone of course uh but uh 
but anyway, so it's all set there, and you see this little resubmit. But it's, you're you're good to go then at that point. Okay, so um, that is the way to turn in your assignments. If you have any questions, let me know.